Hey guys, this is Abhishek of Heart from Triathlon Made Easy and welcome to the channel. This is the fourth part of the Triathlon Made Easy Triathlon video series. If you haven't watched the previous three, now is a good time. Hit pause and watch those videos. For the rest of y'all, let's go. The run is the last leg of the triathlon and it's pretty much straightforward. All you have to do now is just run and reach the finish line. The only problem is by the time you start the run, you may have already swum a lot and cycled even more. So that makes the run the most tiring leg in the race. Keep in mind, it's not the longest uh, leg of the race, like, like the bike, but it is definitely the toughest one. In fact, the official rule book has this very instruction. You can run, walk or crawl. Ouch, that's going to hurt. But the good part here is, if you remember from the first video, that the race has a cumulative cutoff. Meaning, if you are able to save time in the swim and the bike, that time savings can eventually be used in the run. Like the bike leg, the run leg also has a lot of aid stations, probably every three to four kilometers. Generally, the running aid station has a wider variety of nutrition support than your usual bike station. But that doesn't mean you should treat it as a buffet. What I like best about the run leg is the kind of crowd support that it has. And at the end of the run, you get to finish the race. So for me, that's why the run leg is absolutely gorgeous. Like your aim for the race is to arrive at the run leg with sufficient energy in your body and, a suf and sufficient time on the clock. Only then you have a very good chance of finishing the race. The key to having a good run leg is training and lots of it. So typically for a triathlon run, you would be doing workouts such as a brick run, which is basically cycling for uh, a certain period of time before you start running and you start run, run you start the run immediately this is to simulate the actual race day if you ordinarily run a 10k in 16 minutes you can expect a 10k in a triathlon to be to take you around 70 75 minutes in the next video we'll talk about what is called the fourth uh, leg of the race the transitions so if you like this video so far please hit the like button it really helps the channel and it helps uh, helps us grow so see you all in the next video this is abhishek of heart from triathlon made easy signing off